Hi everybody, it's Tammy Tam Cali Style coming back at you for another video. Yes, y'all. How you guys been doing? I hope you've been good. I'm back, you guys, uh, on my lunch break for another hour. So come eat with me. Yes, I'm gonna get right into it, you guys. Uh, today I am having the none and only Arby's. Pick that. Alright, that'll do it. Yes, you guys, today I wanted to try that new sandwich they have. Okay, I've been seeing mad reviews on that. Of course, I got my curly fries and my cheese sauce. So, let me take a little dip of that. I'm hungry, too. Uh-uh-uh. Mmm. Oh. Mmm. Mm, mm, mm. Arby's all no joke. Um also got me a um a four piece uh mozzarella for my marinara salsa. I told you I'm hungry. I just want to try one of those right now. While it's hot. While it's hot. Mmm. Alright. Mmm. 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 Mm, 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 mm. Oh, so good. Ah. Mm, 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 mm. Ah. One more fry. And then we're going to do this to the salad one. And for those who didn't understand what I just said, <laughs> Mm. I said one more fry and then we're going to dig into the sandwich. Mm. Oh, I'm so good. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. Alright guys, so I want to try the new petite steak sandwich. I don't know if I'm saying it right. I see everybody trying it, and and um, everybody not getting it the way that I got it. I actually told them I want extra steak because everybody's like it could have had more meat. It could have been more generous with the meat. So lettuce, tomatoes, that buttery sauce, bacon. It don't have cheese on it, you guys. I'm gonna see what everybody's talking about. Cause this is my first time uh, trying Arby's. Anything other than the beef and cheddar. I usually get the beef and cheddar. Let's turn it that way. Mm. Hmm. Okay. Mmm. I think I like the fat. Mmm. The steak is good quality steak. It's not fatty. It's tender. The bread is soft. Mmm. I'm drunk. That cheddar that I dip in the fries 
That would even be good on it. Mmm, that's good though. I'm glad I did say extra steak. I barely put any on there. Mmm. The fries is like crumbs. Mmm. I do love my Arby's, but every time I go to Arby's, I get the same thing. I don't like to try different things. I'm going to get my beef and cheddar. This isn't bad, you guys. It could have more sauce. It could have some cheese. That's like a ciabatta bread. Okay. Okay, Arby's. Mmm. I'm gonna cut this off. So how you guys been? Mmm. I hope y'all been okay. I've been doing good. It's Monday, y'all, so you know how that is. Mm. You know what I normally do on Mondays. Mm. I got a ranch here. Let's try it. My mozzarella stick with a ranch. I like the marinara better. Maybe both. Marinara and ranch. Mm-hmm. Better. Mm. So guys, know what I don't normally do on my Mondays is YouTube <laughs> I'm on the internet but excuse me um come up below if y'all been hearing about the recent drama headlines about Whitney Houston's girlfriend, alleged girlfriend or lover. I mean, why are they we're talking about that stuff right now, y'all? I mean, if so, oh well. I mean, her girlfriend came out. Now, while Whitney's passed, you probably got some money for it. But, you know, people are like, am I drinking, guys, this fruit punch? Fruit punch. Mm -mm -mm. So people are, are, are like, okay. Why not come out when she was alive so she could defend herself? You know, and if she wanted that to be, you know, a secret, why not honor her? What she wanted? You know, what do you guys think about all of that? I mean, I like the sound, you guys. I just think it needs cheese, it needs more sauce. 
and this needs help. But I was actually really shocked by it because I saw a few people talking about it. Mm -hmm. You know, she probably, uh, the way Whitney lived her life is the way she lived her life on earth. Now that she's passed, you know, I just feel like sometimes that's a little, that could be disrespectful. You know, that could make, cause people to turn around in their grave and stuff like that. Bringing all that stuff up, especially if they didn't bring it up when they was alive. What makes you think they wanted you to bring it up while they're past? You know, mm, that was good. I kind of dipped it in that cheddar cheese, y'all. Mm. Mm. I should just got what I normally get. It's not bad, I'm not gonna lie. I don't feel like I wasted, no, the steak is good, they could have put more of that buttery sauce or something, it's kind of dry to me and and it just needs like cheese or something. And I don't know why they put the bacon on there because you can't really taste the bacon. Mm. Oh, well. So yeah, I'm kind of mad at that. I, mean, I guess the same thing kind of happened with Michael Jackson. You know, he passed and they want to start bringing new allegations out about him being with his little kids. I feel like when they're passed, case is closed. Nothing you can do about it now. What do you guys mean? Nobody else is mean. You want these people to rest in peace, you know? Not worried about nothing else. So yeah, y'all, I got that petite steak sandwich. I'm trying to dip it in this little cheese I got left. It's good like that though. So other than that, how y'all been? That was the drum I was looking at today on the uh, <laughs> on a website. That mm. I remember there was like rumors about that with her, you know, when she was alive, but.
Mm. I put this right here, you guys, because the sun is like beaming. Mm. And I was watching stuff too by uh, uh, his name John Witherspoon, but rest in peace. Yeah, I guess I did his funeral. Ice Cube, the Wayne Brothers. I was out to pay tribute. I didn't realize that he was 77, but even at that, to me, that still to me is not old. You know, not like that. Either. I mean, I don't think because he was like, you know, like he wasn't like an old, old man like that to me. So I kind of expected him to live longer. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like I said, God rest his soul. You never know, you know, what's going on for the person, you know, in their life. But he had a nice family, you know. And very funny. He even had a YouTube, you guys, cooking. I think he did one him recently, like two days before he passed, too. Bang, 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 bang. <laughs> or um, Friday, he's known for and different ones on Friday. Whole bunch of different scenes. My particular favorite one put some hot sauce on my burrito, baby. <laughs> Funny man. He will be missed. Everybody, everybody loved Friday. All of them. Comment below, which one is your favorite Friday? The first one? Friday after next? How many was that? I think it was like four, right? <laughs> My favorite was the first one, of course. <laughs> Everybody can relate to the first one. Well, all of them, I know. But trust me, when I first saw the first one, I was like, oh my God. Why did my sister, uh, when she get her hair done, you know, you know how back in the day you had like the bob, the, it was all curl, like the curls was on top of each other and long in the back and then short, you know, it was like a bob or something, something like that. Well, my, they wouldn't roll it because, you know, it was less, they, a whole bunch of curls, you know. So, why would my sister sleep on her face? She'd be like, you know, so she would mess it up. They showed that in the first Friday. I was cracking up because I was like, oh my God, that is my home right there. All right. That one was right, right there was my house. You see all my sisters sleeping on their on they face, so on their hand, not even rolling up. She would wake up and her hair would be in place, y'all. Don't even look like she turned over. Okay. Who can relate? Who remember that back in the day? I do. Um, there's a whole bunch of them, you know. Going to the liquor store, being harassed. <laughs> you know, when you walk in there, you break your mind. <laughs> you know, different things like that. I mean, that was just prime time in our, all of our lives, I think who grew up around that time. That's everything that was going on. 
I think that's why a lot of people love Friday, that movie. And too back in the day too where you couldn't really chill. <laughs> oh goodness, I'm spit. <laughs> you couldn't really chill um, on your front porch without fear of it being shot up, you know what I mean? <laughs> Depending on your area that you lived in. I grew up in Long Beach, right around the corner from Compton. <laughs> I mean, literally, if you walked up the street, you was in Compton. Nah, I how close I live to Compton. So, I know. And Long Beach and Compton's not too much of a big difference. So, they all had gangs. You know, growing around, growing up in the, the color. I think, I think my part of the town was maybe like Crips. Everybody wore blue. No, my part probably could have been blood because everybody wore red. I don't know. I remember growing up. Our church was literally like two blocks from where we live. Okay, and so sometimes we would walk to church. Um, my little brother, my mother always dressed him in colorful, you know, suits and stuff. And so my little brother, um, I said, Mom. What happened to that conversation? Ask him what state he's from. She said, well, he better tell them that he's from the set of the church of uh, God in Christ. <laughs> and the Holy Ghost. <laughs> yeah. Because back then, I don't know, that was rampant. The gang violence and the gangs and It's crazy. But now I think... Yes, there still is the gangs and the gang violence. But... I think a lot of um, other leaders are trying to bring them together. That's what Nipsey Hussle was trying to do. You know? Trying to bring a, a, a gang choose. You know, hopefully, hopefully, um, that will happen because, huh, you know, we already have enough police officers killing up our people, our young men. I mean, women too now, kids, babies. We don't need each other killing up each other. You know? It's just been, a, I guess, a really long battle. And I just hope and pray that that can only get better. But I remember that. That's what, you know, rest in peace. Nipsey Hussle was all about, you know, the gang, gang people coming together, truth, and all that. Now, two more of these left. Well, one more after this. I'm full. But I think that was the whole significant significance of uh, Friday. What's that first one? Our first one shined the light in everybody's home. Everybody could take something from that and connect. Whether it was, a, like I said, the liquor store, the household, the way um, your communication was with your parents, your sisters, your brother, your friends, your neighbors. 
Uh, she was like, call me, okay? She was like, ah, uh, okay. <laughs> I mean, that's what the mother did when the mother was talking mess. Look how she looking out there with that short clothes on. She knows she don't need to have that on. Hey! <laughs> yeah. That made me want to go watch it, you guys. <laughs> Good times though. But I was watching the um last one. Um with um John Witherspoon. He was talking about it Friday. But he was talking about how they all I think got paid who had lines in it. They all got paid five thousand dollars, but the, the but they made the movie made millions. Um, I don't know if there was a problem in the funding or what happened, but people who had the the major liners and the hitters, they all five thousand. Nobody got more than five thousand dollars. Like the one girl. I think her name was Alize or I forget her name. Who's his sister's uh, person who was coming to braid her hair? I just she said her check was like hundred and fifty dollars because she didn't really have but like one or two lines. <laughs> but they was all happy to get what they got. Mm -mm. They was all happy to get what they got. And but it, it, it's, it's hilarious. Because they didn't think it was going to be a big hit the way it was. Uh, well, you guys, you guys want to try that petite steak sandwich at Arby's. It's not bad. But... Make sure you have them hook it up for you. So you're going to have to tell them extra steak, extra sauce, and maybe even add some um, cheese. That's what we wanted delicious. Otherwise, I'm just going to... I am going to keep my beef and cheddar from here on out. Mm. Well, I'm full. Mm. You guys, I upload Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays. Don't forget, I forgot to do it in the beginning. But to click like, subscribe. And click that bell to be notified. Like, subscribe. And click that bell to be notified. Yeah, yes, y'all. It's Tammy Tam Kelly style. I'm not going to hold you. I'm not going to keep you. Uh, I have to go back to work, you guys. But I had an awesome time talking with you. And thank you for coming to eat with me. I love you guys all. Mwah. Thank you again for all the subscribers. Uh, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.